Good morning, I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce and you are zooming into business with one of our board members, Matt Addis. Good morning, Matt. Good morning, Janie. Now, Matt works for Corwin and Company, but today he's representing the Wadsworth Young Professionals. Who, uh, Matt has been a, a member of the Young Professionals for a very long time. How long has that been, Matt? Oh, I, I think it's been probably six years or so now. Very nice, yeah. Okay, well, first of all, tell us about the Wadsworth Young Professionals. Sure, absolutely. So the Wadsworth Young Professionals, um, we are a subcommittee of the chamber um, and really our mission is kind of to enhance the lives of young professionals who either work, live, or even just play within Wadsworth. Um, so we do that by providing, you know, a host of different things. We like, we like to network, uh, we socialize, uh, we do some volunteer work, and really just kind of enjoy the city. So um, yeah, so we, so we offer yeah. a few different events. Um, our first one is called Mochas and Mentors, uh, which is a speaker series. Um, we have business leaders, community members, uh, just various people throughout the community who are well known, uh, come and speak, and they really just kind of share their story with us. And it's, I think it's unique compared to other, um, you know, networking events a little bit where um, the person isn't so much just talking about their business and what they do now. Um, they give us the background, you know, the nitty gritty, the the hard days, the tough decisions they've had to make along the way. And as young professionals, I have found it to be um, great, um, motivational, um, lots of different words to describe it. Um, but it's really helpful, I think, to the young professional crowd to kind of see the backstory from a lot of people. Um, so besides that, we also do um, cocktails with colleagues, we call it, which is our social networking events. Um, we haven't started those back up yet this year. Um, due to COVID, but we hope to in the near future. And with those, we just um, go to different establishments around the county um, and, you know, just kind of hang out, have a few drinks and, you know, just uh, build some friendship there. Very nice. Now, um, Matt, is there an age limit on the young professionals? Because as you well know, I come to those and um, nobody's kicked me out yet. Absolutely. So that is our number one question we get. Um, and no, we do not have an age requirement. Um, we know that people are in different stages of life. Um, you know, whether you are young, out of college, um, but you could be re-entering the workforce. Um, so we're welcome to anyone. Um, you know, it's uh, please join us if you are interested. So. Okay. So um, currently, with the uh, restrictions of ten people. Um, or less. How are you doing those um, meetings for MOCAs and mentors? So MOCAs and mentors, we are meeting in person now, um, again, limited to 10 people in person. Um, so we do sign ups for those RSVP. Once we reach those limits, um, people are also able to join us on Zoom. Um, so we Zoom all of those, um, or if you're just not comfortable in joining in person, that's available uh, for people to join. And that's at Rise and Grind. Yeah. yeah, we hold those at Rise and Grind um, on the fourth Thursday of every month, um, 8 to 9 a.m. I have learned so much about the people in our community. Yeah. And you know what I have learned more than anything is that I don't think we have had one person that spoke at Mochas and Mentors where their journey was completely straight that there were so many twists and turns in their career, in their, um, yeah, in their life's journeys. Because a lot of times uh, I think it's easy to think, oh, well, if I do this or I do that, what will people think? And, um, and it's wonderful to find out um, all about those kind of things that nobody has a straight journey. Yeah, that is so true. Um, anybody that you see, yeah, they, we, we see the end product, you know, usually at the point we see them and they're talking to us and they look, you know, successful or they're well established in the community. Um, but you don't see that hard work, those tough decisions that they've had to make to get there. So it's right. in, very encouraging to see. Now, Matt, with your six years with the young professionals, um, tell me why you're sticking with it and why you love the young professionals. Yeah, so I think, you know, it's a great opportunity. Um, a lot of people these days, I feel like, don't value 
um, the networking aspect as much. Um, so I like it and I like to be an ambassador to, to reach out to, you know, young or old people and really encourage them to network, to meet people in person. Um, and that's kind of my passion behind it. You know, I like meeting new people. And like we've talked about with the Mochas and Mentors, everybody's got an interesting story. And it's great, you know, to meet people in the community um, and just uh, be together. You weren't looking at me, were you, Matt, when you talked about young and old? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely not. Yeah. Okay, good. I like <laughs> that. Now, your next meeting's coming up. It is, yeah. So next Thursday, um, we have our next Mochas and Mentors. We have Christy Beal, um, who's with State Farm Insurance. Um, a Wadsworth Chamber Board member um, who does a lot in the community. Mm -hmm. So that's the 27th of um, May. Yes. That's correct. And then uh, um, from eight to nine. And so how can people find the young professionals? So the best way to find us would be on Facebook. Um, we have a Facebook page, just Wadsworth Young Professionals. That's where we're gonna post most of our information um, but if you're just looking, you know, to ask a few questions or find out a little bit of information, um, you can check us out there. Um, the Wadsworth Chamber website, um, we're on there. Or they can reach out to me um, through my email, which is just Matthew at RW Corwin, or through our Wadsworth and professional email, which is just wadsworthyp at gmail.com. Right. And they can always call the chamber, you know, if, yeah, if they're interested in one. Uh, want some information, but we really appreciate, Matt, you and the young professionals to keep this going because it is very important for people of like minds and like ages. <laughs> we won't talk about that age thing again, but it's very important that you have that networking because um, a lot of times maybe a young professional is the um, youngest at a group um, you know, of co-workers and, it, you know, things are different. Your families are different. And so I truly, really appreciate the Wadsworth Young Professionals. Well, thank you. Yeah, we, we love being involved in the community um, and just being there, you know, to help out as we can. Oh, well, thank you, Matt Addis, for all that you're doing for the young professionals, for Wadsworth and, of course, near and dear to my heart, for the Wadsworth Chamber. Okay. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Janie. All right. Good morning. I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, and you are zooming into business. And today we are zooming in with our girlfriend, Marty Novak, who is the queen of Mary Kay Cosmetics. Yeah. Good morning, Marty. Good morning, Janie. Okay, so you have such a great story with Mary Kay because you've been doing it more than a year or two. Yeah, uh, 40 to be exact. 40 years? Yes, and I've loved it. Oh, loved it for 40 years. Good yeah. deal. It's a okay, great well, tell, tell us how you got started in Mary Kay. Um, well, it is a funny story. I do have a good story. I always say it's, it's a career. It's been a journey that I've loved. And it's not always easy, but it's always been so worthwhile and so, so good. I'm so glad I got into it. Um, a very successful businessman taught me good business and told me I should do Mary Kay because that was a successful company. I tried the products and I love the products. And I decided to call, I called on my own and recruited myself and said, I think I'm gonna try this because I had tried so many jobs and hated them and uh, couldn't figure out what I wanted to do. I knew I needed something in my life, but I couldn't figure out what it was. But at the same time, I also had two little boys that are Jeff and Zig Novak, those are my boys and they were little tiny little things. And um, I just knew I needed a flexible business. I needed to be home with them and still be able to make a good income and, you know, keep a roof over our head and that. And so I called and recruited myself basically 40 years ago, and it has been the best thing I ever did. Our lives have been great. I, I feel like I've accomplished a lot. It's not always smooth, but what is, you know, but it still was the best thing I ever did. I worked so many jobs that I, I hated and I knew I didn't want to stay there the rest of my life. So I finally found my thing. I finally found what I wanted with Mary Kay. It's Dear, now, what do you like about Mary Kay? I love my flexibility. I love the way the company treats me also. Like I say, they treat us really good. You know, I have had almost 40 years of no car payment I've qualified as a director, which means I have my customers and then I lead women into business. And um, I've had 
uh, free cars every two years. You turn them in and get a new one. When it gets dirty, you get a new clean car. And um, I've had that for 38, probably at least 38 or 39 of the years. And um, I love the way they treat me. They're, they're always positive. They're always encouraging us. Uh, you know, Mary Kay started this company on the golden rule and on her beliefs that, you know, you put God first in your life and you keep your life in a priority of God, family and career and your life will go smooth. And it's true. It does. It really does work. She understands women and she started this career for women and it's perfect. It's a perfect woman's career. It really is. Very nice. Now, what do you like about the product that you're selling? Well, I love the product. I was having trouble with my skin and I tried everything and it just kept getting worse and worse, trying everything out in the stores and on the market. And I ended up going to a dermatologist because I had my face in really bad shape. And even him, I didn't feel like he was even helping me that much. So a girl talked me into it. It took her a lot because I was afraid to try anything else. She talked me into trying Mary Kay. And, you know, I used it and I thought, you know, I think this stuff works. And I started using it and I've used it. Uh, well, I hate to tell you, my son's birthday was yesterday and how old he is, but I've used it over 45 years and I loved the product. And I thought, I love this product so much. I know I could sell it. I could tell other people about it because I believe in it. Yeah. And that's how, yeah. Now you've probably seen a lot of changes in those 40 years with Mary yeah. Kay. Yeah. Lots of changes, but you know, it still continues to grow. We're setting records every year. We've got, uh, I think it's 28 patents for the, uh, or no, we've got over 1600 patents. We have 28 products that have the good housekeeping seal of approval for a cosmetic company. That's really unusual. And, um, it's booming. It's absolutely booming right now in the economy. We, you know, we're flexible enough. We go with, with what's happening and we, uh, you know, I mail a lot. I have a, a website that people can go in. I get orders through that. I can deliver or I, I mail a lot through all this. I've been mailing a lot of products, a lot of orders and, um, it fits in. It really does. And we've set records every year. We're still setting records. We did over 3 billion. That's with a B. Uh, last year alone, the last couple of years. Yeah. So it, the company is secure and it is growing and we're in the right place at the right time. Th there have been changes, but we seem to go with the changes. We, they seem to be able to figure it out. We've got so many smart and um, good people taking care of the company that Mary Kay left and they honor her wishes and do it her way. And um, it's been amazing. It's absolutely amazing. They're still great, still great company. Now, I wanted to ask you, Marty, Mary Kay is known for coming out with seasonal items, oh, yeah. um, you know, and so what's your new summer products? Oh, well, that's what I said a little earlier. We have some of the prettiest uh, lip glosses that are just fabulous. I love our lip glosses. And we've got a couple colors. One is almost like a fuchsia. It is so bright and pretty. And then one's a softer pink. But um, and then we have eyeshadows and purples and pinks for the new summer. Those are going to be your in colors for summer. Okay. And they're absolutely gorgeous. And we do sell out. They're called limited edition. And they do sell out very fast. I'll put it that way. When people see them, they know that they're limited and they have to get them. If they want them, they have to get them right away. And us as the salespeople, we buy them up because we want to make sure we have them for our customers and for our people that want them. But they're absolutely gorgeous. They really are. Now, how can people find you, Marty? Okay, I have a website through Mary Kay. It's you go into um, www.marykay.com and then you put in my name for the website for my website and it'll come right up to me and show you what all's in for the season what all the products are you can go in and order I get lots of orders on my website, lots and lots of orders on my website, and you can even pay on the website and everything too. And also, um, my phone number is 330-634-4351. I'm here in Wadsworth, but I'm all, all over the United States. I have customers everywhere and I have a unit everywhere. I am a director. So I have a lot of ladies that I've taught business to, and that's been great. That's been absolutely great. So I have people all over the United States also that I work with, plus my customers everywhere. So uh, either one, they can get me, you know, on my phone, on my website, or to go into Mary Kay and put in my name, they can get me that way too. And I have, you know, I try to pass out my cards. And I also have my sticker on my car. Naturally, I just got another new car. And I always put my sticker on the car too. So that if they pass me on the street, they can call me too. 
I have had them do that. So, Very nice. Yeah. Well, Marty Novak, you are a true success story, not just a Mary Kay success story, but a true American success story. So thank you for all you do. You support a lot in the community and uh, your biggest accomplishment is giving us your boys, Jeff and Zig because yeah. they have been excellent community uh, members as well. Yeah. I yeah. always say they're my greatest accomplishment. That's right. Yep, yeah. they are. Okay, well, thank you, Marty Novak. Okay. Thank you. And thank we'll you, be Jane. looking for those new summer colors. Okay, yeah. thanks, Jane. Right. Have a good day. Uh -huh. You too, bye-bye. Good morning, I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Theory Chamber of Commerce. And today you are zooming into business with one of our favorite places in Wadsworth, the Goodwill Industry Store. And so that's located at the North End. And today we are here with the store manager, Denny Shorrell. So good morning, Denny. Good morning, Janie, how are you? Good, good. You've been with Goodwill for quite some time now. 11 years we've been going on 11 years in August. Wow, that is awesome. Okay, so tell us about Goodwill Industries. Okay, we were founded in 1902 in Boston by the Reverend Edgar J. Helms. He was a Methodist minister. And what he liked to do is he would go to the wealthier cities and find things in need of repair like household goods or clothing that need mended. And then what he would do, he would get, um, people that was that were poor that needed a job he would hire them to help repair or mend the clothing or the household goods and then he would turn around and sell them or he would actually give them to his employees that was in need of those boy amazing isn't it how uh, that progressed that whole thing so tell us about the wadsworth goodwill store um we opened up in 2010 and um we get blessed with a lot of donations and our store is really growing very rapidly. Mm -hmm. oh. Now, um, oh, that's okay. We're all in business. We all understand that phone ringing. That's for sure. So um, I have seen signs at Goodwill that says when you donate, you're helping to provide someone with a job. Correct. That's yeah. our to help people prepare for, find, and retain employment. Good. So, um, you can either come into our store for a job, or you can actually say, like, if you moved, and say, like, I always use nursing, um, say, like, you were a nurse, and you moved into our, our city, and you don't have a job, you can actually go into Goodwill, and they could help you find whatever your um, niche is, whatever your job is you want to do. They could help you locate a job in that field. Oh, gosh, I did not know that. That is awesome, especially right now when um, so many people are um, are looking for a, just a career change after the shutdown. Right. And so you could go into Goodwill and see what's available. Yes. Oh, I like that. OK, so let me ask you, what is so unique about um, Goodwill in comparison like to other um, we'll just say resale shops, or I don't think Goodwill's considered a resale shop. No, we're a nonprofit. Okay. And you, you never know what you're gonna find. Cause what is somebody else's, I'm gonna use the word junk, it's somebody else's treasure. So uh -huh. I mean, it's, a, it's a different every day, you know, we get so many, we get blessed with so many donations that there's always new things going on onto the floor every day. Whether it be household goods or clothing, furniture, Oh, you know, um, before the shutdown, our chamber board spent an evening at Goodwill in the back, hanging up clothes and going through donations. And I tell you, everybody loved it. We had such a great time doing that. And so uh, hopefully with uh, as we're slowly reopening, we'll be able to do that again because we we really had a lot of good, good, uh, a good evening there. And it was a great team building as well Thank yeah you. so um i know i have bought uh um, dishes there i love dishes and so um goodwill has great dishes and what i use them for is to decorate my kitchen with all of the to hang them on the wall of all different dishes because then you can just buy one you know and and hang them up 
So um, I really appreciate Goodwill for that. Now, uh, Denny, with your 11 years at Goodwill, what do you love the most about it? Just seeing smiles on, on customers' faces, like they found this thing they've been looking on, looking for forever, or they found they'll bring in like a, say a piece of their own clothing article to find something of the same color to match it. And then they get real excited, like, oh, well, I completed my outfit. Or it's just seeing people being happy and thinking that you accomplished or made somebody's day at the end of my day. Oh boy. And especially knowing that you're creating jobs. Yes. You know, um, now Goodwill has always been known for hiring people with disabilities. Is that, does that continue today? Um, yes, but our participant program's kind of on hold right now. Okay. But, um, we have a lot of people within our store that um, may have some type of a disability. Okay. Yes, we still we still do that, but not with the participant in right now. Okay. And how can people find you, Denny? How can people find the Goodwill? Um, we're located at 170 Great Oaks Trail, or you can go into our... Um, email at goodwillakron.org and you can see everything we do we have like a, a blue boutique which is in akron we have a shop goodwill which is online and we also have an ebay store which is online and now we have an ebooks that is online so we're growing pretty rapidly wow that is just very cool and uh coming out of the pandemic because i remember hearing that you had um shortened your hours Yes. And will you be going back to your regular business hours? Um, right now, um, why we are shorted hours is because we get blessed with so many donations and I don't have enough employees right now to go through them. So if you know anybody that needs a job, send them on down. Okay. I, we will go back to, to nine to eight instead of 10 to six. Okay. And then also uh, you're going to be coming to our nonprofit fair. Uh, at the end of June. So we'll be looking forward to seeing Goodwill there. But I have to tell you what Goodwill does for the community is just absolutely wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. And we, we just so appreciate it. And you have worked hard to make the store look good and um, to color coordinate things that you're looking for. And um, anyways, we just thank you so much because you have provided so much to so many for so long. Well, yeah. thank you for helping and supporting us. Oh, gosh, of course. Well, thank you so much for talking with us this morning, Denny. And, um, and we so appreciate your 11 years with uh, Goodwill Industries. So thank you. And for sure, we'll see you at the nonprofit fair. I'll see you there, if not before in the store. <laughs> OK. Good morning. I'm Janie Parrish with the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce, and you are zooming into business right across the street from the Chamber office at To Great Work Employment Services. And we are with Elijah Straub, who is an employment a staffing uh, supervisor. So good morning to, the, to you, Elijah. Good morning. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Okay, yeah. so tell us about Great Work Employment Services. Okay, well, since 1992, Great Work Employment Services has been teaming up with um, local workers and local companies in the area. Um, we pull people in with skilled trades, or we do entry level in the manufacturing and warehouse industry. Um, great thing about Great Work is that you can utilize all seven of our local uh, all seven of our locations um that way it's just a broader search for you as a worker looking for the right career great so what is unique about great work i'd have to say the unique thing about great work is that we're, we're not just a temp agency um, we try to find you the right position and help you build a career out of it we work with you on your resumes helping build a resume um, we do, we do job placement, as I said, we want to see you hired in. And honestly, what we do is kind of unique. We get to know our employees and then we get to know the companies that we're working with too, um, on a professional level and somewhat on a personal level as well, because, you know, sometimes that's what it takes. So 
you're working with individuals, but you're also um, working with companies. So okay. if an individual's work looking for work, they could just stop in to see you. Okay, is an appointment preferred? Um, we do prefer appointments, but okay. if you're in the area, you're welcome to just stop by. Okay, so then um, do you do any testing? What do you do to place an individual with a, a company that's looking for employees? Um, what we do is we'll talk to you on the phone, ask some screening questions, and then set up a time for you to come in the office. Um, like I said, though, if you're just in the area and stop by, you're welcome to. We'll just talk with you in the office face to face and get the interview started then. Um, after that, it'll go towards you fill out some forms for me. I'll do a background check. We will do a mouth swab drug test. If all checks out, we'll, we should be able to place you um, in a company of your choosing. So could you start working tomorrow? Absolutely. You come on in and everything checks out. I'll get you working tomorrow. Now, Elijah, why do you love what you do? I personally love what I do just because in 2015, I needed a job bad. I came to Great Work Employment. They got me set up with a company that I stayed at with for five years. They got me hired in there. I loved it. I built a career out of it. It wasn't just a job. And I'm trying to do the same for other people. It's kind of rewarding being able to look and have somebody really kind of getting back up on their feet. I know that you've played a part in that. Boy, very nice. Now, how can people find great work? Um, you can find great work employment services on all of the social media platforms. Um, go to our website, greatwork.cc. Um, we're on Facebook, or just give us a call, 330-334-5555. Well, Elijah, Thank you for all that you do, because you make a difference in everyone's life that probably walks through the door, you know, and, really appreciate um, that. and needs that livelihood and, um, and really the uh, accomplishment that you feel when you work every day. Yeah, so, um, and your family's thankful too. Oh, so I think we froze up again. Yeah, thank you so very much, Elijah, and hopefully we'll see you soon. Absolutely. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you.